Ladies and gentlemen, I have quite possibly the rarest FNAF merch that someone can get in the year 2022. This right here is a Five Nights at Freddy's Wave 2 Walmart exclusive Mystery Mini sealed. Now, and if you don't remember, this is the Mystery Mini box that has a chance of containing the fabled Jump Scare Baby, my old nemesis. Now, of course, I already have Jump Scare Baby. She was my old grail, my arch nemesis. But the fact that we have a chance of getting a second one today is beyond insane. But before I break it down any further, let's just go over the setup as usual. Today is day four. I'm so glad you guys have stuck around this long. So let's see. Thankfully, that horrible zombie SpongeBob has been replaced and reverted back to normal. Today we've got Ennard joining us. And then here we've got the Dreadbear figures. The FNAF 1 figures have moved up. And then we still got the security breach in the back. And now we've got some hangers. Um, Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Yep. Oh, okay. Hi, how are you? Yep. Hi, how are you? Yep. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> anyway, so this video is probably anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes long. And you're probably wondering, how can it be that long with only one tiny unboxing? Well, you see guys, since there's a chance of getting Jump Scare Baby, I want to break it down. I want to talk about the actual probability of getting her. And that's why I've made this chart. You may recognize this. This is something we used to do back in the day during the old Mystery Mini hunting days. This is a cheat. You see guys, this is how Mystery Minis work. When you get a full case shipped from Funko to any store, it comes like this. There's six minis on the top, and then there's six minis on the bottom. So 12 in total. One bottom layer and one top layer. And so they're always like this. There's always six, and it's always six, six, 12 in total. But if you didn't know, there's actually another step to it. If you get a sealed case that comes straight from the manufacturer, like this, there's actually a cheat. So you can figure out which mystery mini is in each box. So what we're looking at right here is the old Wave 2 Walmart exclusive cheat. And this shows every single box that could be in a Wave 2 case and what they could have. And so if you see here, this is the top layer, this is the bottom layer. This is the front and this is the back. This is the back, this is the front. Just to clarify, this would be one layer, this is the top, and then this is the bottom. And so what we're gonna do is talk about each one of these and what could be in each box. And then we're gonna talk about the chance of this being a jump scare baby or another one of the exclusives. Okay, so I've got all the mystery minis right here. So let's begin. Let's start right here with the bottom level of mystery minis. This is the bottom six boxes that can be in a case of wave two mystery minis. And so right here, I've written down every single mystery mini that would be in each of these boxes, assuming that the case didn't get mixed up or dropped on the floor and then mixed up or anything of the sort. If this is a sealed case from Funko, then this is what it would look like. So the back two boxes on the bottom row are always Nightmare Freddy. Nightmare Freddy is right here. He was a one in six. So he was always two per box. Since there's six of him and there's 12 boxes in total, there would always be two of him. And since that the boxes are mapped out, he was always the back two boxes. And the same goes for Nightmare Foxy. He was the bottom middle boxes. Since he was a one in six, he was always the two bottom middle boxes. And finally, at the front of the bottom boxes, we have Jump Scare Freddy and Baby. So this is Jump Scare Freddy. He is actually one of the exclusives and he's worth a good amount of money right now. I would not mind getting him personally. The other one was Normal Baby. So usually in these boxes, the exclusives will replace something that is the same rarity. So since Funtime Freddy was a one in 12 and Jump Scare Funtime Freddy was a one in 12, Jump Scare Funtime Freddy replaces him. But since Jump Scare Baby was a one in 36, Normal Baby was left in the box. So there's a chance we could also get Normal Baby. And now onto the top row. So in the top row, the back two boxes can be Nightmare Chica or Jump Scare Ballora. This is Nightmare Chica. 
We all probably know what most of these look like, but I'm gonna show them anyway. I already have all of them, but I'm gonna show them off and then say which ones I want at the end, and then we're gonna open it. And then here is Gem Scare Ballora, the other exclusive. She's also a 1 in 12, so every single case was guaranteed to have at least one Gem Scare Ballora. So I'd say there's a pretty good chance we could get her or Gem Scare Funtime Freddy. Next up, we go to the middle boxes in the top row. We have Nightmare Bonnie. Nightmare Bonnie would actually be a pretty good one to get, as he's worth a good amount of money right now. Now, I would still be a little disappointed that I got him because I do have a lot of duplicates, but he's still not the worst. I'd rather get him than a Nightmare Freddy or a Nightmare Foxy, honestly. So yeah, not the worst, not the best. Next up is the first rare box. So a rare box is something that has a chance of being one, or, or I mean two or more things. So this rare box is a 1 in 24 box, meaning it's split between Ennard and Nightmare Fredbear. There's a 50-50 chance that that box could be Ennard or Nightmare Fredbear. So if we got the middle left row on the top or middle left box on the top row, there's a chance that we would get this or this. Pretty good mystery minis. They're both worth a good amount of money now, so I would be perfectly happy getting these. All right, and then we have another one in 24 box. This one is split between Nightmare Balloon Boy and Nightmare Own. So if we did get that box from the case, it would be a 50-50 chance of getting Nightmare Own or Nightmare BB. Um, both of these are good. Honestly, I wouldn't mind duplicates of these guys. I do have a couple, so I'm not really dying to get more of them, but they're okay. They're worth a good amount of money. I would probably make my money back if I got one of these, so it would be okay, but I'd be a little disappointed. And the final box is the front left box on the top row. This is the rare, rare box. This is the one that has a chance of being all the good things. So this box is actually split between four things. First, we have Funtime Foxy, which is a one in 36. Really good, really rare, worth about $50, if I'm not mistaken. Really good mystery mini. Would not mind getting another one of those. Next up, Daryl, AKA Nightmare Cupcake. You all know him, you love him. I would not mind an extra of this guy either. This is a good one. He's obviously a character in my videos, so any extra of him would be good. Next up is Nightmare Mangle, which is probably the one I want the most besides Jump Scare Baby. This is, uh, one of the rarest mystery minis, one of the coolest mystery minis, um, and I would not mind getting a second one of these. They're very, very delicate, so I would not mind having a second one. And then, of course, the last thing that can be in this box is the Jump Scare Baby, which is a 1 in 36. Yeah, so that's everything. That's everything that could be in this single box. Now, let's talk about the probability. So, let's think about it logically. What are the chances of this box being from the front left box on the top row? I don't know where the person that I bought this from got this. I don't know if it was some extra they had left over. Maybe the person that bought this and sold it to me knew the trick. Maybe they knew the mystery mini trick and so they know that this is a Nightmare Foxy or a Nightmare Freddy. But maybe they didn't know because this was pretty cheap. And so if something like this had the chance of being a jump scare baby, I would sell it for a lot more money than I paid. So let's go over the list again. Nightmare Freddy and Nightmare Foxy are probably the most likely because they're the bottom level in the back of the box. If any were to be left over and just sold and then resold again, it's probably gonna be one that was at the very back of the box that nobody bought. There's also a good chance that it could be Jump Scare Freddy, which would be a really, really good pull. Because once again, he's on the bottom level. A lot, there are a lot of people who knew the trick, but a lot of people also didn't know the trick. And so there's a good chance that some of the exclusives were left over. Same goes for Baby. Anything on this bottom row, I'd say, is a pretty good chance. Now, personally, I don't want it to be one of the one and sixes. That would be really disappointing. Baby would also be a little disappointing, but Jump Scare Fun and Freddy would be an absolute win. And the fact that he's a 1 in 12 gives me even more hope that it could be him. The same goes for Jump Scare Ballora, who's also a 1 in 12. She's in the back of the top row. So by the time that people are buying boxes, uh, there's a good chance the box gets mixed up. Something in the back like that might end up on the bottom row. You never know what could happen. Now, let's talk about Nightmare Freddy 
I mean, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Bonnie. Pretty good odds, I would say. These two boxes are guaranteed in a case, so the fact that these are only 1 in 12s means there's a pretty good chance, but I would say everything on the top row here is a lot less likely than the, everything on the bottom row. Now, unfortunately, I do think that the Jump Scare Baby box, this one, is actually the lowest probability, and it is because it is in the front on the top row. Also, at the time, I was making a lot of videos about Mystery Minis, as was everyone else, and we all talked about the trick and how to get the best box of the case, and so there were probably a lot of resellers and just fans who were going and buying all the best boxes before anyone else could, which is acceptable. I mean, I was too, but that's why I think this is very unlikely. But it's not impossible. Once again, like I said, there's a good chance that the case fell on the floor. We don't know the story. Say an employee was loading this onto the shelf and they accidentally dropped the entire case and all the boxes spilled all over the floor. And then they just picked them up in a random order and put them back in the case. Who knows what could have happened? The Jump Scare Frontline Freddy could be right here and the Ennard could be over here and the Jump Scare Baby could be right over here. It could have gotten extremely mixed up. This could be the rare box, but this could also be a one in six box. Now, one thing I wanted to do was actually weigh this and see how much it uh, how heavy it was compared to some of the rare mystery minis. But unfortunately, I think that would spoil the surprise. I will tell you right now though, it feels pretty heavy. All these kind of feel the same weight, to be honest. There's not really one that's more heavy than the others, um, but I say this is a pretty good chance. Now let me shake it a little bit. It's moving around a little bit. So whatever mini is in here, it's pretty big. There's not much wiggle room. So the chance of this being a jump scare or a mangle is pretty high, I would say. Let's go back to the list again. I wanna quickly talk about which one of these I would be happy to get. And we'll put them in order of which ones I want. The first one I want is obviously the rare box. This is the highest, uh, this is the highest on the list because every single one of these is worth a lot of money, especially the Jump Scare Baby, who goes for about $600 on eBay, which is absolutely insane. So if we got a second one of these, man, I would take a vacation. All right, so Jump Scare Baby box, obviously number one. Number two, Jump Scare Freddy. Jump Scare Freddy is worth a good $150 online. That would be a great pull. Number three, Jump Scare Ballora. Easy, exclusive, worth a good amount as well. I don't know exactly, but probably over $100. Easy, easy $100. I would love to get another one. So yeah, that's one, two, three. Three out of 12, AKA one out of four. That's a one out of four chance, a 25% chance of getting something I want. That's not the worst odds, but wait, there's more. So let's keep looking here. The Ennard and Fredbear box. This would be really good. So these are both worth a good amount, especially Ennard, who himself is worth like $60. So would be absolutely great. I'd make my money back instantly, and it would be just a really exciting pull. So that is a 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 12, aka a 1 out of 3, about a 33% chance of getting something good, which is really good. But wait, there's more. The other one in 24 box. Nightmare Own, Nightmare BB. Now, I don't really want this one. If I did get this one, I'd be really sad because it's right next to the rare box. And so, if I did get this, that means that this box did get mixed up or something happened that the front top box was given to me, but not the right one. So, I would be disappointed if it was this one, but I would still make my money back at least, so it wouldn't be a complete lose. Now, we're left at the 1 in 12s. I would much rather get a 1 in 12 than a 1 in 6. So, first, I would love to get another baby. Baby is a great character, and I just think the Mystery Mini is really nice looking. Um, then I would like to get Nightmare Bonnie. Nightmare Bonnie's really, uh, he's really good and he's worth a good amount. I would be disappointed with any one, one in 12, but it's better than a one in six, and like I said, it's, it's worth a good amount of money, so would make my money back. Then, Nightmare Chica. Nightmare Chica is not a bad mini. I personally really like how it looks, but it's not really worth that much, and I already have some doubles. I don't really need another one, to be honest. And then we're left with the one 
in six boxes. So the one in sixes would be a very big disappointment because these are obviously the most common. I have the most of these. I don't need more. Um, but yeah, we're going to do it for YouTube. This is the rarest FNAF unboxing in 2022. If you can't see right there, it says 2017, which was five years ago. This is a half a decade old box. Um, I don't know if any more of these even exist on the planet. Um, I was actually telling my friend not too long ago that I think the rarest FNAF item that you could get in 2022 is a sealed Mystery Mini exclusive box from Wave 2. And when I saw this pop up online, I bought that bad boy in an instant because the chance of this getting a jump scare baby and and, and which is worth almost a thousand dollars is insane. This would be the craziest unboxing that I have ever uploaded. As you guys know, Jumpscare Baby was my old arch nemesis. It took me so long to get it. Um, I opened so many boxes. I made so many videos talking about it. And when I finally got it, it was such a triumphant moment. But I never unboxed it. I bought it online. And so this could be the first ever Jump Scare Baby unboxing on YouTube. As far as I know, there has never been one on YouTube. Um, and I could be the first. I could be the first person to have two Jump Scare Babies in one room. And you know, part of me considered not opening this because I already have all of them. Why would I want to open something that I could probably resell for a lot more just because it has the chance of having one of the rare ones? Well, the thing is guys, <laughs> I needed something to open for review week, okay? And this is such an exciting moment. And if I held on to it and I never sold it, I would eventually open it anyway. So I might as well do it on camera. And if this is something rare, this would be the craziest unboxing I've ever done. And so I feel like it's necessary that I share this with you guys. This could be something insane. And it's not fake, it's not staged in any way. This is a sealed box. Yeah, guys. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I think it's time to just get into it. Okay guys, here it goes. I, I'm i gonna be really sad if this is a one in six, but we went on this journey together. I know there's probably some people who skipped to the end of the video to watch this. Oh, it hurts, it hurts to open it. It doesn't feel right. If you guys uh, know anything about Pokemon cards, a lot of people will sell old packs from old sets because a lot of them are worth, um, they have cards that could be in them that are worth a lot of money. And people will buy these old packs for thousands of dollars and then they just get some really common cards and it's not worth anything. This is what this feels like, except I didn't pay thousands of dollars. I paid almost retail price for this. So yeah, Ugh. so as you can tell, the box is a little bit crushed. Uh, it's clearly old. Um, I'm going to do my absolute hardest to open this without ripping it in any way. I want to keep the box. I want to preserve it. This is an absolute treasure to look at. Um, this brings me back to the days, guys. So it's worth noting, uh, this doesn't see, appear to be resealed any, in any way. It appears to be sealed in the exact same way that it used to. You can see it's clearly glued down. Um, yeah, all right. Oh, God, guys, I don't know. Do I do it? This could literally be a jump scare baby. <laughs> I just want you all to know, if this is a jump scare baby, well, uh, I'm probably gonna scream at the top of my lungs. Um, if this is a jump scare baby, I will eat one of those SpongeBob's. I will literally eat him. Like, I will I will chew him and swallow him, all right? All right, guys, <sighs> let's... Oh, God, it hurts. Oh, God, I'm ripping something so sacred. Oh, God. No, this is... Oh, God, it hurts. I can hear people, I can hear stuff outside. I really hope the audio is good on this. Okay, so that was a clean rip. It opens. So we need to be careful because sometimes the bags inside here are already opened. I hope it's not. Okay. Okay, guys, there it is. There's the bag. So we're not going to feel it. We're not gonna like do anything because that could give away what's inside it. We're just gonna cut it open, drop it out, whatever it is. We will see. I'm really nervous, guys. I'm really nervous. This could be literally one of the rarest unboxings ever. Okay, so without further ado, like that, okay? Let's 
Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. All right, don't show, don't show. All right. Now, without any further ado, the rarest unboxing that you guys will see on YouTube this year. Three, two, one. It's... Alright guys, three, two, one. Uh oh. You know what? I can't even do it. I can't even pretend. <sighs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined.